Hi, my name is Mike. In today's video, I'm calling it the two witnesses are not what most Christians think they are. Um, I'm speaking about the two witnesses, aka the 144,000. Again, I hear many Christians believe that the two witnesses are two people and that some even say they're Moses and Elijah or Moses and Enoch. If we look into scripture with God's help, Remember when the scriptures spoke of Elijah coming in Malachi 4, 1 to 5. Let me just read that. Malachi 4, 1 to 5. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. You shall go forth and grow up as calves to the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for there shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments. And sorry, verse 5 Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And verse 6. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So is God actually going to send Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord? Well, in Jesus' day, Elijah came before him, but many didn't recognise him as being John the Baptist. Matthew 11 Matthew 11, 7 to 14. And as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went you out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind. But what went you out to you see? A man clothed in soft raiment. Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what you went out to see? A prophet. Yea, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I will send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. Very I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there have not been risen a greater than John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and violence take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. So, um, and if ye receive it, this is Elijah, which was to come. i read that again, verse 14. If ye receive it, this is Elijah, which was to come. So, Jesus was speaking about John the Baptist being Elijah. So, it wasn't actually Elijah that came. But the spirit of Elijah in John the Baptist, the spirit of Elijah was the spirit of repentance. The same spirit that was in John the Baptist was the same spirit that was in Elijah. So let me read Luke 1, 11 to 17. So Luke 1, 11 to 17. Luke 1, 11 to 17. Okay, um, and there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall be turned to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. So there can see um, the spirit of Elijah 
was in the spirit of John the Baptist, the spirit of repentance to turn hearts. Uh, this will also be upon the two witnesses, aka the 144,000. Why two witnesses? Well, like I said in my previous video, the two witnesses are needed to establish a verdict on a person. When the two witnesses, aka the 144,000, go in twos, then all who reject their message of repentance will be condemned. Uh, Matthew 8.16 So Matthew eight sixteen. Um, sorry, eighteen sixteen. Oh, I wonder why I didn't sound right. So Matthew eighteen sixteen. Uh, but if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And Deuteronomy. 1915 Deuteronomy 1915 One witness shall not rise up against a man for an iniquity or for any sin in any sin that he sinneth at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established hence they are called two witnesses on the mouth of two witnesses Will a person be put to death? All who reject the message of repentance will be under God's judgment if they reject Christ. Remember the time that Jesus sent out the 70 or other translations of 72. 72 times 2, 144. You remember he sent them out in twos. And all those that rejected the message, he, he told them to wipe the dust off your feet. Some Christians might read this and say, for example, at Revelation 22, 18 to 19. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to them, God will add to him plagues described in this book or takes away the words of this book of this prophecy. This means if anyone adds their own words or takes any words in the book, changing the wording, not interpreting this words via God's help with the Holy Spirit through scripture, its meanings. After all, this book is the book of Revelation. Revelation means the making known of something that was previously secret or unknown. God, only God through his Holy Spirit can help you to understand secrets. Um, Matthew 13, 11. Uh, Matthew 13, uh, 13, 11. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So God reveals secrets and mysteries to his people through the Holy Spirit. In a transfiguration, Jesus saw Moses and Elijah. You can read that in Mark 9, 2-8. This was a symbolic representation of the two witnesses. They will have the power of Moses and Elijah. Elijah preached repentance and had powers, so did Moses. As Elijah had the power from God to shut up the heavens, so it didn't rain. Um, you can read that at 1 Kings 17, 1. Uh, likewise, the two witnesses can shut up rain as well. So the two witnesses also, the 104,000 will do the same. As Moses had the power from God to do the ten plagues, so will the two witnesses, a.k.a. the 140,000 as well. i read that. 11, 6. Revelation 11, 6. These have power to shut heaven, that it not rain in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn into blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. Remember John fourteen twelve. Verily, very I say unto you, he that believe on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go to the Father. Some of Jesus' miracles were feeding the five thousand, raising the dead, healing the sick, etc. 
These and more with 144,000 do. I'll leave a link to some of the dreams I had and the powers of the 144,000. Um, they will have a double portion, the spirit of Elijah and Moses, and will do many miracles and preach repentance into all the inhabited earth. And regards this scripture, Revelation 11, 5, there will be, uh, which I'll read, about fire coming out of their mouth, 11, Revelation 11, 5. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceed out of their mouth and devour their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. It's not literally fire coming out of their mouth. Again, it's symbolic. Jeremiah 5, 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God of hosts, because you speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. So not literally, spiritually. So seek God for understanding of his holy word, not with carnal eyes, but with spiritual eyes. As Jesus said, of those who are unresponsive to the truth, at Matthew, I'll finish with that, Matthew 3, 13, 10 to 15. Is it Matthew 13, 10 to 15? He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speak thou in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them is not given. For whoever have to him shall be given, and it shall be more abundance. But whoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even that ye have. Um, therefore speak I to them in parables, because by seeing they see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Elijah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their eyes are ears, sorry, ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have been closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. So only God gives you understanding and wisdom through his Holy Spirit. So ask, and you will receive. Anyway, I'll leave it there and say, anyone out there hasn't come to Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer repentance. God bless you all. Bye-bye.